Hello friends, this is Mahesh Yulikar and you are watching Next Gen Mess. If you have not subscribed my channel, then please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon of Next Gen Mess. In this video, we are going to discuss the problem of CSI NET number 2020, problem of linear algebra. Example, which of the following is an inner product on vector space of all real valued continuous function on closed interval 0, 1. We are given four options. First option, inner product f with g equal to modulus integration 0 to 1 f t g t d t. Second option integration 0 to 1 modulus f t g t d t. Third option f 0 g 0 plus f 1 g 1. And the fourth option integration 0 to 1 f t g t d t. If you want notes of this solution then please visit our website www.nextgenmatch.com in the description link is available. So it is a problem of inner product. So first we recall the definition of inner product. A function or a operation will be the inner product if it satisfies the following conditions. So first condition inner product u with v equal to inner product v with u. Second condition inner product u plus w with v equal to inner product u with v plus w with v. Third condition inner product alpha u with v equal to alpha times inner product u with v for any scalar alpha. Fourth condition inner product u with u is always greater than or equal to 0 and inner product u with u equal to 0 if and only if u equal to 0. So any operation which satisfies this four condition will be the inner product. Now we again the four different inner products. So we check all the four inner product one by one. So for the option one, inner product f with g equal to modulus integration 0 to 1 f t g t d t. Taking alpha equal to minus 1. Consider the condition number 3. So inner product alpha f with g equal to inner product minus f with g because alpha equal to minus 1. So we have modulus integration 0 to 1 f replaced by minus f into g t d t. But this modulus we have modulus integration 0 to 1 f t g t. Now if we consider the right hand side of this condition alpha inner product f v g equal to minus times inner product f v g will give the minus modulus integration 0 to 1 f t g t d t. Therefore these two are not the same inner product alpha f with g not equal to alpha times inner product f with g. So it's not satisfy the third condition and hence the given operation is not an inner product. So option number one is the wrong answer. Now option number two, inner product f with g equal to integration 0 to 1 modulus f t g t d t. It is similar to the option number one. So we consider the same way alpha equal to minus one and repeat the option number one procedure. Consider the condition number 3. Then we have inner product alpha f with g equal to inner product minus f with g equal to integration 0 to 1 modulus minus f t g t d t. So this modulus will give the positive value integration 0 to 1 modulus f t g t d t. And the right hand side of that condition alpha times inner product f with g equal to minus times inner product f with g will give the minus times integration 0 to 1 modulus f t g t d t. So these two are not the same and it does not satisfy the condition number 3 therefore the given operation is not an inner product so option number 2 is also the wrong option option number 3 where inner product is in the form inner product f with g equal to f of 0 g of 0 plus f1 into g1 here f and g are the real valued continuous function so we consider the function fx equal to x into 1 minus x in the closed interval 0 1 it is a real value continuous function. Now we consider the fourth condition of the inner product. Inner product f with f equal to f of 0 f of 0 plus f of 1 into g of 1. Here the function fx equal to x into 1 minus x. So if you find the f of 0 will give the 0 value and f of 1 will also be 0. Therefore inner product f with f is 0. If we evaluate f at 1 by 2 then we have f of 1 by 2 equal to 1 by 2 into 1 minus 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 will be the 1 by 4 which is non-zero. Therefore, inner product f with f is 0 but f is not 0. So it does not satisfy the second part of the fourth condition. Therefore, it is not an inner product. So option number 3 is also the wrong option. Now option number 4. It is an integration 0 to 1 ft gt dt. So it is a simple integration. So it satisfies first three conditions because first three conditions 
are also the property of integration. Now we consider the fourth condition. So in a product f with f equal to integration 0 to 1 ft into ft dt. So integration 0 to 1 ft square dt is always greater than equal to 0 because ft square is a non-negative continuous real valued function for all x belongs to close interval 0 1. And with the similar argument inner product f with f integration 0 to 1 ft square dt equal to 0 if and only if f equal to 0. So the operation in the option number 4 will satisfy all the four condition of inner product so it will be the inner product. So option number 4 is the correct answer. Thanks for watching. For more videos, like, share, subscribe, press the bell icon of next gen mess.